And, oh, they start with a trade card as a scout. And there is a market in the middle so they can start trading with the market using their scout. Yes, the trade card scout actually being useful. They build a market, they can trade with it. Anyway, forage bushes, more food than normal. Back gold and stone for ACCM. Another matchup that I feel if it goes late game can be tough for the Celts because the Teutons have their bombard cannons to deal with the Celtic siege. Yeah. Oh, and thank you, Nui Ludins, for the follow. I feel like Veloss tried it and it didn't work. Maybe because he doesn't have a market of his own. Maybe the trade card just doesn't work. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Wash, uh, Washosk and JQQHQS for the follow. Pointy boy, no bonus damage versus trade? I don't think so. I think trade is just... I think it's Civ win for Celts because of the market. I don't know why that would give anyone a Civ win for the female villager market. The ACCM, I think he's going to try again, too. Yeah, he doesn't pick up anything. But he probably does need his own market as well. <laughs> and thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Chirianesco, for the follow. Great. AoE 4 wolves attack your trade cards, which is very annoying and unnerving. I think they did a much better job in uh, AoE 2 when they realized that was something that should not happen. <laughs> can the market be destroyed? It has 1800 HP. I don't know if it can be destroyed. At one point, these neutral buildings, like, you could attack them, but you could also repair them with your villagers. So you got to the weird situation where you were attacking something with crossbows and repairing it with vills. I think there were some changes to that, though, but I forget the exact mechanics in the patches. Anyway, quite the ambitious wall from Veles. Going to wall himself off from the trade. Normally, I'd say Celts should have the better economy in this matchup, but with the recent changes to make Teuton farms even cheaper, I don't think it's quite as big of an advantage as it used to be. Hello, uh, Maddie AoE. Even cheaper? Yeah, they made the farms... They used to cost uh, 40 wood, and now they cost 32. Oh, the trade cart blocking the wall. Oh, the trade cart's going to be pushing the Ibex in. Go, trade cart. The trade cart should be able to take the Ibex and just hunt it and then put it in the back of the cart and then wheel it into the TC. Like the AoE 4 Professional Scouts, only you have a little cart to carry it. Professional trade carts, exactly. Those are the features Forgotten Empires needs to be adding in. Anyway, lots of stone in these stone mines. There's a castle for each of them. Lots of gold in those golds, too. Llama there has exactly 100, so that's a standard food llama. Early Teuton Farms already being added in. ACCM pushing some deer with his own trade cart as well. And he'll be adding in a barracks and some walls. Doing loom and clicking up already. So he will be facing an opponent who already is walled. And with the trade cart, might not have the scouting to see it. It does move slowly without caravan. I think that's one of the reasons why people prefer age to over age for. One of the many reasons. I love the game to go long enough for the neutral market to matter. I would too. It's it's worth thinking about. ACCM would need to like secure this corner so he would have a longer trade route to the market. Or this corner, but there's an annoying cliff there. Wolf, no food on it. Let's look at the relics. There's one, two, three relics. Let's see how many, if there's any I'm missing. 
double click that. Looks like there's five relics. Those three, where are the other ones? Oh, there's a fourth. Where is that fifth one? Up oh, down here in the corner in the back of Plus's base. What do you think? You're getting rid of the Hunt Decay mechanic? I think Hunt Decay is one of the things that people find fun about the game. Oh, ACCM is going to lure in three Javelina using the trade cart to help block for the Vill. He'll use the TC there. He needs to be careful to keep these two under the TC still, and he'll get them. Nice job by him. He's been playing Black Forest. He knows how valuable those Javelinas can be. I'll just kill all three of them to get them under the TC. I think it's nice to have those little like skill-based trade-offs where you can keep your villages assigned to one animal at a time. I think it's actually a really good thing for the game. Uh, hello, Roxer. <laughs> all those BF skills, they matter. Even has more Ibexes that he could push in. The Vless going for the stable. Men at Arms at risk of breaking into the base. The trade cart is going to be used as a part of the rush. Oh, wait, Vless is going to wall with the market, but ACCM could trade with the market. Think about that. <laughs> his Men at Arms could break down that wall, and then he could trade with it if he builds his own market. It's going to run away, though. He's not going for the memes. He's going for the actual gameplay of trying to break through the walls. <laughs> you play, you and another 1400 played ACCM in a 1v1v1 tournament where you doubled him from feudal onwards, but he still managed to beat you. <laughs> he is quite the good player. I did manage to beat him once in a game of Age of Empires 1. And he was just learning the game, and he tried to go Chariot Archers with a sieve that didn't actually have Chariot Archers. <laughs> what are thoughts on it? Uh, no Decay as a bonus? No Decay, I mean, that that's kind of a weird thing as a bonus, because, like, Decay... Like, you could go and la try to lame someone else's hunt, and then it just doesn't Decay. So yeah. it, it's kind of an anti-bonus at some points as well. That's my favorite save, the Byzantines. I like the cataphracts. Yeah, I, I feel like what you do not want to do is create a mini game save like the Rus in AoE 4. That is my unfavorite save? Probably the humans. Or maybe the maybe the Sicilians. Or Burgundians. One of those, probably. How much better they are than the above-average players? How much better they are than, like, the, the top 500 players? Lauren Gear is minigame enough. Don't need more of that. Trading with the neutral market is minigame enough. The Vless is just going to try to keep walling. He has a stable, so he will be able to get a, a knight out once he's up, and he will have the armor on it. But he will clean this up, even though it has been a bit annoying for him. The house, though. 30 seconds away, and now the archers are here, so he won't be able to wall behind that easily. Place farms right, and get X percent of food. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a particular fan of that, the, the full varks, either. Now the archers are coming in. They could get a couple of vil kills. Oh, that one's low HP. Bless has to get the repairs in. That house now gets more HP and more armor. Now that he's up to the castle age. And he's doing... Oop, he will lose one vil there. So at least that's some pretty good pressure from ACCM. Bless is trading with the center. Is he? Oh, he did build a market and he's doing it. Yes, yes. That market he used as his wall. He's trading with the center. ACCM is pushing in, but that's, that's not the important thing. Wait, ACCM has a market too. They're both trading with the center. Yes, they're going to do it. ACCM goes in. And Veles goes in. They pick up They pick up who gets more gold. That's 18 for ACCM and only 9 for Veles. Veles' market's too close. And they're going to do it. ACCM's trying to push in, gets through the walls, but can't really get past the TC. But meanwhile, these trade carts, they're slow. They don't have caravan. They're moving to drop off their gold. <laughs> Veles is going to get there first. The importance of using markets in your walls. 
and he gets it. Nine gold. And here comes ACCM, that trade card about to drop off a smooth 18 gold to his market. And there we go. Now a few knights and a monk out for Bless will force this army away. ACCM can try to engage, but those men-at-arms won't be quite effective against the Teuton knights with their extra melee armor. And Knight goes down, actually, though. So good pressure still from ACCM, teaching Vless a, a lesson with his men-at-arms. Would Burgundians be able to get Caravan in the Feudal Age? I don't know. I've never thought about that. Maybe for cheaper. And they're still going. That's the second trip for ACCM. I think this is the third trip from Vless. See, Vless adding in his second TC, but ACCM is just about up to the Castle Age. Does have a bit of a, a slight vill lead now. And still, we got ourselves pretty an even game, despite the, uh, the very different strategies from the start. Is that a William Wallace campaign reference? Well, this trade card's going to drop off the gold, and then he can use the gold to buy what he needs. Knights now finally out in numbers enough to clean this forward from ACCM. I'll give Veles the KD lead, but he had to struggle a bit to do it. Actually, that's a low HP knight. Needs to run away. Use the extra healing range on the monk. Monk goes down. Pikeman upgrade in. And forward knight for ACCM. Kelt knights. Not what you see every day, but then again, he did go Frank Cav Archers. I can't wait to see the trade profit at the end. As the knight's now coming out into the middle, I guess ACCM just needs to secure his trade route. Huang always goes Kelt Knights. That, that is true. Oh, but here come the pikemen. Good to the pikemen. Pick off the trade cart. ACCM is raiding the trade. <laughs> they don't actually do much damage to it. And let's see. The Kelp Pikemen, though, are faster, and they can poke it down eventually. And Veles going to lose all of his valuable trade income as the Pikemen are trapping it against the market. And down it goes. He might as well say GG right now as ACCM has absolutely decimated Veles's trade down completely to zero trade carts. And his trade is still at full strength, has not lost a single trade cart. And with the map control, maybe he'll be able to hold the, <laughs> the neutral market. That was a devastating raid on the trade. And Veles is going to need to re-add all of his trade carts if he wants to rebuild his trading economy. Celts eat trade carts indeed, the extra speed on those pikemen helping them catch up to those non-caravan trade carts. <laughs> those pole axes are cute. Well, lots of pikemen out for fighting the knights. Gonna have to be a monk defense here from Veles. Mankadel comes forward. That's where I do start to worry. The monks are out. And Veles, you know, will be hard for him to afford redemption without his trade. Forward monastery from ACCM trying to convert the knights, but the Teutons do, of course, have better monks. Sanctity coming in for them right now. Is this starting to look like Huang? Well, if there's one player ACCM has played against very often in his time zone, it is Huang. He knows how to execute the Huang rush. I just, I worry we got Redemption queued right after Sanctity, and I think once you get to Redemption Sanctity Monks, I think that gives you the power to stop the Huang rush right in its tracks. But that being said, ACCM, it's not a pure Huang Rush. He has two TCs. He has something of an economy. Still has berries he's taking. And the problem is it's three TCs for Veles, and Veles is starting to pull ahead in villagers. KD still equal, but now it's... Uh, Veles has the units out he needs to defend. And I think Veles has secured him a pretty... Secured himself a pretty nice spot here, despite the lack of trade.
Yeah, the Huang needs to be a bit more fast castle than uh, long feudal. Another Manganel out, but now Redemption is in on the monks, and with Sanctity they can take uh, they can tank a Manganel shot. So I expect to see a conversion on that Manganel rather soon. Actually, just gets destroyed. And ACCM's push, I think, has now been stopped by Valesse. And it might be Valesse's turn to start raiding the trade. ACCM might need to relocate his market and put it up here just to keep his trade safe. Yeah, and again, this is a monk against Teuton Knights. Teuton's probably even a, a decent save for fighting off the Huang Rush. Do I like monks? Oh, monks are a great unit. He gives as much gold as one third of a relic. And oh, there comes the conversions. You gotta delete that. It does delete it, doesn't kill the monk though. Oh, he's gonna convert the trade cart! That's how he's gonna get his trade back. He converts the trade cart. Yes, and now, now Valesse is going to start trading again. <laughs> Help! Crusaders are converting our trade routes indeed. Ah, uh, it's horrifying flashbacks to that campaign. That town center being killed by the Crusaders. You converted trade carts to keep the gold they are carrying? That, I, I I think they do, but we'll need to experiment. I know in the old days, if you had a group of several trade carts collected and they all were carrying gold, and you right-clicked them to give them an order, they would lose the gold they were carrying. <laughs> Switch sides if the price is right. want to see elite Teutonic Knights. What we really want to see is the caravan upgrade. Us coming forward, going to secure that gold. Light Cav coming out from ACCM in an attempt to kill the monks. That is a lot of monks. More Light Cab coming in from behind. If he can snipe off two monks there, he gets one. We'll get a second. We'll get the third. Get a fifth there. Oh, actually, that Teuton uh, was able to heal there. Monk healing is so fast on other monks. You see, and a ram. Oh, there we go. There's the Elite Teutonic Knight. Veles knows it's meme time. He's up to imp, he's adding in the elite Teutonic Knights, and he's doing squires. <laughs> I know, I do want to see post-imp, I want to see the trade. Relics are still 0-0. Zero to zero. Fully upgraded Aztec Monk. Lightcap actually doing a fairly good job of sniping various bits of siege and monks. But there's another castle. These are Teuton castles. They are going to be very strong in imp if they get crenellations. Teutonic Knights will make them lose more arrows. Not trade in Teutonic Knights. I am still disappointed ACCM didn't try to trade with that market when he was breaking through the palisades and the market was part of the wall. <laughs> Bits of siege and monks. Yep. Ranges coming out. I imagine that'll be for some hand cannons. And the Teutons really just need to go bombard cannons here, and then they should have a pretty good shot at winning this matchup. Yep, oh, and there's the GG. Get the imp GG. But now, so that's 3 0 for Veles, but we have seen some reverse sweeps. I do feel like Veles has been getting the better Civ so far. And the same thing in that matchup for Tato, so maybe ACCM will start to get some luck on his side.
But the most important statistic of that game, yeah, we got the conversions, we have the military KD, is the trade profit. 126 trade profit for ACCM, 87 for Veles. Now, Veles may have won the game, but ACCM won the economics. Did ACCM? Oh, no, that is the ratio of conversions to desertions. So it's uh, like a 16 to 1 ratio, and I guess 1 divided by 16 is 0 0.06 to two decimal places.